Hi, I'm Tom Flame. I'm a member of the First Water Disaster Strike Team. I'm here at Creekside today to discuss and demonstrate the outpost water purification system available from First Water Systems. The outpost is positioned within the First Water product line to provide up to 12 times the water flow of the responder reportable units, yet still provide semi-portability. The outpost has been specifically designed to fit inside most SUVs, pickup trucks, and minivans. The military version of the outpost has handles built into the frame to facilitate movement by helicopters, as well as a camouflage covering. The outpost has been designed for durability, featuring solid brass fittings at every location, as well as standard hose adapters and standard hose sizes. The outpost additionally features run-flat tires to facilitate easy movement. The outpost comes in two models, the Outpost 4 and the Outpost 12. This is an Outpost 12. The Outpost 12 is an AC-powered unit that purifies up to 12 gallons a minute, or 720 gallons per hour, of purified drinking water from virtually any salt-free water source. The Outpost 12 weighs approximately 125 pounds and can be easily lifted by two persons. The Outpost 4 weighs approximately 200 pounds because it has its own battery which is used to collect the power from the solar panel. However, it's still easily lifted into the vehicle by two persons. For international users, the Outpost 12 comes standard with an inverter. The Outpost 4 is a solar-based system with a solar panel that sits on top of this frame. There is an angling mechanism so that you can optimize the solar panel's angle to the sun. Okay, let's take a look now at the functionality outpost and each of the individual components. The first thing we want to talk about is the frame of the unit. The frame is made of heavy gauge painted aluminum. The frame also includes handles fore and aft, as well as areas in the center to facilitate easy lifting. The outpost features a one half horsepower pump that's mounted to the unit for transport, but can be easily taken off and moved so that you can move it a little closer to your stream or your water source. Next on the outpost, you'll find a manual air vent. Opening and closing this helps facilitate the priming of the pump. As the water comes in through the pump, it enters the system over here and goes through four large canisters where all the filtration and ultraviolet purification process takes place. The first canister is a sediment filter, which removes solids and heavy particulate from the water. The second canister contains a second sediment filter, which is used to further clarify the water. In order for ultraviolet to reach its maximum potential disinfecting power, the water must be crystal clear. Next, the water will go through a reducer, which automatically reduces the flow of water to 12 gallons a minute. Next, the water will come into a third canister. In the third canister is an activated carbon block filter. The carbon block is there to remove chemicals, taste, and odor from the water. The last and fourth canister contains a high power ultraviolet system. The ultraviolet system is used to disinfect the water and kill any living microbiological entities that might be present in the water. Once the water is passed through this final canister, it is clean enough to use for decontamination, medical purposes, or drinking water. Now let's turn the unit on its end so we can access the canisters take one off, and look at how easy it is to clean the filters, or additionally to drain the system after use. With the outpost on its side, all four canisters are easily accessible. The canisters should be very firmly screwed into the unit. To facilitate the removal, this device is attached to the frame of the unit. To use this device, simply slide it onto the canister and give it a twist to loosen it off the frame. Once the canister has been loosened, it's easy then to simply twist the canisters off of the frame. This is the inside of the pleated filter canister. This is the first level of filtration where most of the solids will be caught. The pleated filter has been designed for long life and it's washable and reusable. Simply take it out of the canister and rinse it off with clean water or wash it in your stream or lake or whatever your water source is 
to get the heavy particulate off. Once the filter has been cleaned, it's ready for reuse by simply slipping it back into the canister and screwing it back into the unit. Okay, let's start up the system now and see just how easy it is to use the outpost. Because we're in this rural setting, we've moved the generator into place and put in two extension cords. One extension cord is for the ultraviolet system, and the second extension cord is to run the pump. To start, let's move the pump close to our water source. The outpost comes standard with a total of 50 feet of hose, 25 feet from the pump to your water source and 25 feet from the pump to the system, allowing you significant flexibility to move the pump wherever you need it to be to maximize the water flow and efficiency of the unit. The next thing we want to do is to take our water intake hose and put it into our water source. You'll notice the end of this hose contains a screened filter. This filter ensures that debris, uh, heavy silt, uh, leaves and twigs does not enter the system. The second hose provides a method for the water to escape the system should there be too much pressure. All you need to run the outpost is four inches of water, which is about all we have in this small stream. So you simply come over to it and throw it into the water source. The last thing we need to do is to plug in the ultraviolet system and the pump. But please bear in mind that it might take approximately four to five minutes for the water to start pumping through the system, and that's because each of the canisters contains a large volume of water, and the whole system has to fill up with water before the water will start to be purified. If your pump does not prime immediately, then you need to add a little bit of water into the pump to help it. You do this by unscrewing the top of the pump and just pouring a little bit of water into it. Once the pump is filled with water, it should prime immediately. Once the pump is primed and the water starts flowing through, you want to turn off your manual air vent because the water will come shooting out of it. Okay, now that we've let the system run for a little and we know that the water's been through the process, it's clean to drink. So let's go have some clean water. The large volume of water produced by the outpost makes it great for not only drinking water, but for decontamination, for showering units, as well as hazmat mitigation and chemical cleanup. When you're done using the outpost, it's a good idea to run the system dry and then take the canisters off and let the system dry out before storing it for an extended period of time. As you have just seen, the outpost is extremely easy to use in any kind of setting, from an urban setting to even this remote rural setting. On behalf of First Water Systems and the Disaster Strike Team, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and learning more about the outpost available from First Water Systems.